Greetings all, I'm Bill Vensel. this is Chords of Orion, and it's all about ambient guitar here. Today we're going to be looking at the new X Duo Time Dual Digital Delay Engine. It's a pretty interesting device, and if you're a lover of ping pong delays, uh, this pedal's got you covered. It's a really simple pedal at its core. It's got stereo ins and outs and a USB port for firmware updates. But really the meat of the matter, the heart of the matter as it were, are the various delay types that you have available to you. And that includes five different types. Analog, tape, digital or digi, mod, and even a reverb type. And not only that, there's a built-in looper. And you might be thinking, well, I've seen a lot of pedals like this. Well, this one's a little bit different in that there are two discrete delay lines. So as you look at the controls here, you'll see that we've got separate time and separate repeat knobs for each one of the two delays. And you can use those time knobs just to individually dial in, say, 50 millisecond delay on the left and 150 on the right, or you can use the tap tempo button in the bottom right-hand side to tap in your tempo and then put in different subdivisions like a quarter note or a dotted eighth on each side to get varying rhythms. So let's listen to some sounds here. Here's my clean tone with just a tiny bit of, just a tiny bit of room reverb. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the duo time. Let me go ahead and tap in a tempo. One, two, three, four, and let's see what we get. Yeah, pretty cool. Now, let's see what we got going on here. On time one, you'll see I've got it set all the way to a quarter note subdivision there on the right-hand side or the full clockwise. I've got repeats in the middle. On the delay two, I've got it set to a dotted eighth delay, also with repeats in the middle. So let me go ahead and bring the repeats down on the delay one side and let's hear what we get. Okay, so you hear that dotted eighth delay coming out of the, hopefully the left-hand side of your head or your speaker. All right, let's go ahead and change the subdivisions a little bit. Let me go ahead and pick a dotted 16th, I believe. And then let's go all the way clockwise here and type in a type tap in a tempo isn't that nice now let me go ahead and bring those repeats up on both sides and let's see what we get with these fast delay types. Okay, obviously that's like way over the top, but you get the point. You've got complete control over your right and left delays. Now you might be thinking, Bill, I run in mono into a guitar amp. No problem. The duo time takes delay one and delay two and simply sums it to mono. So you've got a good, clean mono signal going into your amp. So whether you're running stereo or mono, you still get this complex interplay between delay one and delay two. All right, let's listen to the different delay types. I've got this set on mod. 
And as you can hear, there's a modulation effect going on with the delay repeats. Really nice. There is a parameter knob in the upper right-hand corner, and whichever delay type you've selected, that par parameter knob controls one thing. And for the mod delay, it's controlling the modulation. So let me turn it all the way clockwise. <laughs> And now it's all the way, did I say clockwise before? Counterclockwise, now it's all the way clockwise. I like that a lot. And, you know, if you set it to a more mellow depth, it's just a really rich sounding delay. Really nice. Next up is the digi mode or the digital delay mode. And this is gonna be a cleaner delay. Although Nuex says they've added a filter to it to make it more musical. So it's not that kind of just sterile, plain old digital delay. Here's what it sounds like with the parameter knob all the way down. And you can hear there's there's a little bit of filtering going on that's affecting the tone. Kind of mellowing it out. Now if I bring that parameter knob all the way up, check this out. Hear how it brightened up the repeats? Let me go ahead and increase the repeats so you can hear that better. Next up is the tape delay mode. Everybody does a tape delay, don't they? Well, this one's no different. Here's what it sounds like. And you can hear that the repeats are pretty gritty. Let's go ahead and bring that parameter knob up and you'll hear things get grittier. It's got that gritty kind of tape thing. What it doesn't have are a lot of the tape machine artifacts that you might get in a more dedicated tape delay, say for example, like the Strymonel Capistan. But you know, for basic tape delay style sounds, it's pretty good. Next up is the analog delay, and as you would expect, it's going to be a pretty dark sounding bucket brigade kind of delay sound. Here's what that sounds like. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty darn dark. And as you bring up the parameter knob, you're going to affect the modulation or you're going to be adding modulation to that delay repeat. Fifth delay type is pretty interesting. It's called the verb. And if you have the parameter knob all the way down, in other words, counterclockwise, this is what you get. Okay. But if you bring the parameter knob up a little bit, you start getting this. Oh, 
Did you hear that? Not only do we get reverb mixed in with the delay repeats, we also get some shimmer. Let me go ahead and bring that up and you'll really hear it. And you can get over the top with it like you can many shimmery types of things. We've been through the delay types, but let's not forget the looper. As I mentioned earlier, I think under my breath, it's a 40 second looper. So you can think of it more as a phrase looper. You're not gonna be doing super complex looping with it, but it actually works pretty well. If you hit both buttons together, you'll go into looper mode. And then um, let me go ahead and start. I'm just gonna play a low note. Now I'm going to go ahead and record. It's really easy to use. And one of the things I really like about this looper is that when you're playing over top of the loop, you still get the delays that you've set up. In many smaller format uh, delay pedals that include loopers, a lot of times when you select the looper, you don't get the delay. It's either I delay or I loop. I can't do both together. This one will do both of them together, which is really nice for playing more complex types of textures along with your loops. So what do you think about the duo time? Drop a comment below and let me know. Also, I've got a playlist here of other new X pedals that I've demoed, and I'll see all of you on the next video.